He was thrown into a gap down to the centre of the earth, opening like a womb down to the core of creation. And all was empty, wiped clean as dust, a silent place of shadow shoveled up with the hubris of centuries of certainty that the place of the mad was secure. He is an ocean. He is an ocean raised in air and living in a bubble below the surface of things. He is a bright sea extending the full wrap of the orb of the earth and to the edges of the wind. He is yesterday, he is tomorrow and all spaces in between, and he is not these things. He is the deepest breath, one that seems never to stop filling the lungs, and he is an even longer out-breath. He is the rattling cry of the Corvid, reaching to break the chains of this moment and to take in the ocean of generations back and back to the time when hydrogen and oxygen first decided to mate, the primary coupling of matter. He is the centre and the periphery, he is the melancholy grace of the wings of the hooping crane, the sail of the sea swallow, the starling and the dunlin. He is a salmon pushing up river and all living things searching for grace. He is without boundary, he is everything and all time and he is nothing. He is of no consequence, less than a single beat in the story of knowledge. He is the roar of flame at the core of the groaning planet turning as a restless fetus seeking revelation in the womb of its mother. He is a whisper of red, the all-consuming passion, at the start and end of it all.